So uh, what we need to do though is determine the domain and range for this function. Uh, we want to determine when it's increasing, decreasing, and determine if it's even and odd. So the first thing I want to do is kind of get an idea of what this graph looks like. So to do that, I need to make sure I understand what the parent graph of f of x looks like. And that looks something like that. Now, let's go ahead and rewrite this and see if we can remember what our transformations are going to tell us about this graph. So if I'm going to look at this now, we need to remember we can have transformations of a function. Our function can be rewritten as a times square root of x minus h plus k. right? Now what is a going to tell us? a is going to tell us if we're doing what? <coughs> What's a going to tell us? a is going to tell us if there's a reflection over the x-axis. Yes. So we look at this, and is our a, in this case, negative? Yes. So we now know that the graph is now going to be reflected over the x-axis. So the graph is going to be reflected over the x-axis. Next thing, h, remember, tells us to shift left or right. Is my graph shifting left or right at all? Is there, am I minusing anything under my function or adding anything under my function? No. So it's not shifting left or right at all. And then k, remember, shifts the graph up or down. So since I'm plus 3, that means that's going to move the graph up three units. So rather than starting at 0, 0, the graph now starts at 1, 2, 3, and now goes in the downward direction. All right. So if you're going to look at the domain, the domain, remember, ladies and gentlemen, is all the x values that you can evaluate for your function. So are there any x values that are negative that are part of this graph? No, it's only positive values. And let's see, does that make sense? If you put in a negative number in for x, can you evaluate that for a value? Can you take the negative square root of something? No, right? So therefore, our domain is from 0 to infinity. All right, Because you can evaluate the square root of 0. Then let's look at the range. Now, the range is going to be the number of y values. Well, this graph. It looks like it's going down, and it's going to keep on going down. As it keeps on going to the right, it's going to keep on getting lower and lower. So the range goes all the way down to negative infinity, but how far up does that go? 3, right? It doesn't go any higher than 3. So our range is going to be from negative infinity to 3. We can actually close these because these are actually values. All right, so that's your domain and range. All right. Um, then let's go ahead and take determine if it's even or odd. So if we look at this, ladies and gentlemen, the, the actually I'll just go ahead and do this in a different video.